Good afternoon, everyone. How are we doing? Thank you for attending our talk today about natural language generation and conversational AI. My name is Tim Daniels. This is my colleague, Dan Marino. We're both account managers at ARIA, and we're really excited to show you uh, what we have in store. Uh, now, ARIA um, was founded in Aberdeen, Scotland by our founder, Dr. Ehud Ryder, um, who wrote the de facto textbook on NLG. Um, so we really pride ourselves on the linguistic and analytics that we have embedded directly within our tool. If you could uh, change the slide, please. So what is NLG? NLG is, as I said, natural language generation. We take structured data and turn it into text and language, basically bringing your data to life. As Tableau has created the visuals that give you an idea as to what's happening in a department or industry within a specific dashboard, we provide the story that allows you to understand why that is, how that is, and what to do next to get better and bigger performance. So the real key here, as I said, is marrying visuals alongside your narratives. Because as we know, as human beings, we are intrinsically storytellers. Just as the caveman used to draw pictures in order to describe what was going on, same concept today in terms of understanding one another and really driving value and really comprehension of data. So a really key aspect of ARIA's tool is our architecture. As you can see here, we are architected on a REST API. Now, what this allows us to do is to call out narratives practically anywhere. Now, Tableau is an obvious medium, but as long as you have some form of structured data, in this case for our tool, table-based or JSON-based structured data sets, you can embed narratives in proprietary dashboards, websites, PDFs. The sky's the limit in terms of the potential for NLG. Now, what sets ARIA apart? What sets ARIA apart is the ability to drive actionable insights through linguistic analytics and computational analytics as well. Uh, now, uh, really, one of the key values is our BI add-ons. As I said, we have an extension in Tableau and other BI tools, which really is the perfect medium because BI tools have aggregated all your data feeds, right? The, the key is to marry all the data and then provide the story as to what is happening behind the scenes, which is what ARIA is providing. And now my colleague will show you a little bit about our extension within Tableau. <clears throat> Thanks, Tim. All right, so what I'm going to do is actually break down the presentation in two parts. So the first area that I'm going to show you is our direct extension for Tableau. Uh, and once that's done, I'm going to take you into the engine behind what I'm showing you here, which is our ARIA NLG Studio tool. And I'm basically going to show you how we kind of create the rules and the logistics and everything that you're seeing here in my first presentation. So what you're looking, up on the, looking at on the screen is the dashboard that you would see normally if you're logging into Tableau. And on the right side of the screen here, you're seeing our extension for uh, ARIA. So what you would do is you would go to the gallery, search for ARIA, download our extension, ingest it into the dashboard here. And when you do that, what you're going to see on the right here, where my mouse is hovering over, is what I like to call our first tier of narrative. It's our instant insights. It requires no coding whatsoever. It's basically a way that you can go after the information that's already in your BI tool, add statistics, dimensions, measurables, um, variance, and then report against it. Okay, so I'm going to give you an example of that right now as I scroll through this. Um, on the left side of my screen, on the sheets here, you see multiple information that is already aggregated in my uh, Tableau uh, dashboard, right? And if I go back over to the right to our extension, I'll scroll down here so you can see what I'm, what I'm looking through here. I'm going to set up various dimensions, measures, okay, we've got brand, city, uh, market share, and you can decide how you want the values to increase as they come out, either good, bad, neutral. That's the first tab. Once that's set up, the second tab, is going to take you into setting up statistics and variance. 
Okay, and we have time-based setup for the sake of this example. You look at target-based, you look at correlation, time series, however you need to go through this. And once that's set up, the last tab is gonna take you to deciding how you want your narrative to be uh, drawn out. Now, for the sake of the demonstration, I'm gonna click uh, Tell Me Everything. This is probably gonna take about 10 seconds to go through and generate a narrative. You probably would not generate this out to say C-suite of folks because there's gonna be just a, a, a boatload of information that comes through here in your narrative. I'm just showing you this because I want you to get an idea of how powerful the tool is. When this generates in probably a matter of uh, maybe five or six more seconds, um, think about how long it would take for somebody to actually generate this uh, manually, right? Actually type out this entire, oh, okay. It didn't, uh, didn't go through. Now really the beauty of the, the first tier of our extension is the ability to extract insights with really no expertise oh, wow. whatsoever. As Dan just showed you, the ability to select what data you want to focus on, right? Because obviously that's the key. Then what type of analysis you'd like and then how you'd like that summarized and in a click of a button, have instant insights as to what's happening behind your dashboard. Um, we have a lot of clients that utilize this alone and have told us, oh my God, I have found things, trends, correlations that I never saw within the visuals. And that is the value in NLG. I'm thinking it might be... Um... There you go. There we go. So it might be a bandwidth thing with Tell Me Everything. So what I did was I chose uh, important things because um, we might have some, having some Wi-Fi issues with Tell Me Everything. Uh, but anyway, this is a much more streamlined uh, example of breaking down the narrative. So you can see in a matter of what did that take? I don't know, a few seconds. I'm able to generate much more detail than I would if I were able to stand in here and just actually type all this out and generate this for, say, a CFO who wants to see uh, instant insights behind the information that we have already aggregated in the BI tool. Now, now let's say that I'm Dan's executive and I say, hey, Dan, I don't really like the way that reads. That doesn't speak in Aria's language. Well, have no fear because our second tier of our extension allows you to extend those insights by importing that pre-built project into our ARIA Studio tool in, our, in order to tweak some of the verbiage and data points to meet the specific needs of your department or organization. Creating the personalization, which is a key component and value to NLG. Because obviously, no one wants to read something that isn't of value or interest to them. And that is why you are able to customize those narratives to make them meaningful to your individual consumers. Now what the Extended Insights is gonna do is, once the Instant Insights is generated, through our extension, you have the ability to then structure that data to either JSON or a CSV format. And then we can ingest that file into our, our ARIA Energy Studio tool, which I'll show you in just a few minutes. But the reason I'm explaining this up front is, I'm showing you our third tier, our final tier of data in the extension which are custom insights. And what you're able to do here is really drill down and get very, very custom for specific audiences. So for example, a CFO's report, his, his or her narrative is not gonna be the same as somebody who might be, say, VP of finance, director of finance, manager of finance, right? They're all gonna to wanna to have their own personalized narratives. So you can do that by getting very granular, very customized within the studio tool. Now let's say um, I am a CFO, I'm diving back into my dashboard here, and I'm looking at my, my financial overview at a, just a high level. But I want to drill down now, okay? I've got multiple countries here in Europe that I can report against. For one reason or another, I want to see what's going on just in the UK. So I can take off this and just select UK, hit apply. And it's a matter of milliseconds, you'll see this update in a second. If the Wi-Fi were better. And as we showed earlier, what Dan's doing is a REST API call out to that project that has been built out within ARIA Studio to articulate that data and then bring back that new insight. Still waiting. Okay, so what I'm doing here is going beyond just saying uh, what's happening in the UK. So for the sake of example, example if I were to click on the UK, it might tell me something like the compact automobile happened to be the top producing product I have in terms of sales. So what I just did was I then dive, uh, dove deeper into just the compact model. So why? Why is the compact model, model my highest performing automobile? 
And when I scroll down here, this is going to drill even further into the details behind the compact model. Okay, and it's not just going to detail the, the why, the what, the how behind their data. It can also give you actionable insights to drive ROI moving forward. All right, so if you look at the last bullet point there, it says based on the available data, the company should consider decreasing the amount spent on selling and marketing the compact car in the UK, right? So maybe you put more resources towards the minivan or towards the, uh, the SUV, whatever it might be. So that's kind of the power of ARIA within the extension of Tableau. And what I'm gonna do now is actually open up the studio. You wanna say something? Yeah, I just wanted to, to mention one more thing and really reiterate, the key here is the visual alongside the narrative. Because as you saw in that last example, those circles don't mean a lot of really anything to any of us. Just like if everyone was here on the first day for the keynote speaker, she showed a scatter plot that had no information. Those dots are meaningless. Just because one is bigger than the other, what does that mean? Why are they that way? And NLG is providing the why. Okay, so this is the ARIA NLG Studio tool you'd see. If you logged in, this is the first interface you'd see. Um, these different blocks here represent individual projects that I've created. Uh, yellow is for a table-based project and green is for a JSON project, if you're curious. So I'm gonna log into the project I was just showing you in our Tableau extension for uh, auto financial information. And now I'm just gonna kinda of navigate you through the various tabs here on the left to explain to you how we would create a project in the tool. So what you're looking at here is just your JSON schema. Okay, it's just a map of your data. It's an important point for me to bring up that we don't persist data or narrative within the tool. It's a REST API call, so when that completes, any information that flows through there is gonna be flushed immediately. Uh, we store the rules, but the rules are really not important, right? It's your data, it's your narrative that you're really uh, worried about. The next tab here is your variables, and these allow you to get pretty, pretty powerful within the, uh, within the narration. It allows you to basically narrate the data that's not in your data, so to speak, right? They resolve back dynamically, you can drop in any of these, or an important point to bring up is you can drop in custom variable, variables as well. And this is really where you can start to generate, generate narrative analytics um, and, and really start to generate things like trend, correlation, time series, things that you cannot access from the visual that will help you to understand the overall data. And then the third tab I'm taking you in here is the composition. Okay, and this is where you're actually gonna start building out the rules for whatever narrative you want to generate. So you're, you're introducing these. Uh, if anybody has a, a development background, Python background, this language might look familiar. Uh, it's actually our proprietary language called articulate text language, but it's based heavily on Python. So in here is where you could drop in the variables that I mentioned. Uh, you could introduce conditional logic we have various formulas and these are very powerful. So I'll just kind of scroll over mathematical formulas here. So I can introduce uh, median, mode, percentage, standard deviation, and this is what allows you to get really deep into the analytics behind uh, your narrative. Uh, one other component that I like to show under functions is language, choose at random. So in order for you to kind of sell this as not really a machine that's generating this out, choose at random is a fancy way of saying synonyms really. So it'll choose various words to describe the same thing. So when you pump this narrative out, it comes across as if a human actually did generate it versus using a tool. And this is really the value, one of the value adds to ARIA is the linguistic functionality that we've built out. Over 10 plus years working with AHUD and other scientists to really help you ramp up and be able to again drive those analysis within your dashboards. One of the last components I'm gonna show you here in the composition tab is our, our subscripts. And the reason I'm showing you just one example here is uh, we took the liberty of building as many drag and drop procedures here as we could. Our tool's really industry agnostic. So when you're looking at some of the information that it's dropped down here under financial overview, net profit, net operating sales, drivers, offsetters, right? These are gonna be uh, information points that are gonna be relevant regardless of what industry you're in. So we realized that, and we wanted to create as many drag and drop procedures as possible. Uh, although you can create your own, you can certainly customize as well. But the idea is we don't really want you to have to be in here and coding all day long. You don't want to have to do it either, right? Um, so you can take advantage of the drag and drops. Uh, something else I should have mentioned when I was going over function is we do a function builder as well. So if you want to take advantage of the functions we built in, great. But if you want to create your own functions, that's possible too. We 
we have uh, the ability to ingest Lex uh, files if you want, Lex rules, you can introduce that. And if I go down to settings, another important point for me to mention from an auditing standpoint, we capture every change that's made to the narrative, who made it and when did they make it. And if you want to go back to a previous version of the narrative, I'll scroll down to the bottom so you can see, I could just click on whatever it might be and simply click restore. Right, so I don't have to go back in there and, and mess around with code, figure out what character needs to be updated or changed. I just click restore. Especially if time is of the essence, you can go back to a previous version very quickly and easily. Now, uh, one thing that Dan showed you, um, there's different levels that are possible today with NLG. Um, this project probably falls somewhere between level three, four of a five level scale. Um, and the beauty of it is ARIA can do all five levels. You can do simple, narratives to as sophisticated as you'd like and getting granular uh, insights into your overall data within your dashboard. And then the last tab I'm going to show you here is uh, where you publish that project. So the first thing I can show you here is we do have a preview tab. So I talked about versioning, kind of explained to you about revision, revision history that we have in the tool. I kind of look at this as a change management tool as well. You can see what's going to be generated in your narrative before you actually do publish it out. Kind of important, right? And then if you do have any errors in here, by the way, a syntax will pop up, let you know exactly what's wrong. You can go back and correct that, obviously, before you publish out your narrative. Uh, and then when you're ready to produce that narrative, you just click Publish. Here's your URL. And then present this out anywhere. As Tim was saying, you set an REST API. So if you're utilizing a BI tool like Tableau, great. But if you're not, the sky's the limit, really. It doesn't really matter where you're ingesting data from, where you're presenting the narrative out to. So we're very flexible there. Now another uh, key is our deployment. Um, we are the only NLG uh, provider that can deploy our extension on premise, which is obviously paramount for data security. Um, but not only that, we can deploy our studio tool on premise behind your firewall using Docker images. But if that's not what you're looking for, we also could do a dedicated instance through AWS, or we have a multi-tenancy cloud, which is usually for proof of value phase. And the last item here is so that you could generate an API key as well, obviously, right? And then you could send that out along with the URL to whatever presentation layer you'd like. Something that I, I actually didn't show in the beginning because I wanted to get it deeper into the presentation, but since we have a few more minutes, um, how do we get started with this? How do I learn the tool? We have a quick start guide here, and it's uh, just short few minute um, tutorials actually created by our VP of pre-sales. Um, so you actually hear her voice, her name's Kathy Herbert, and she's on here and she'll step you through creating projects. Uh, Tim and I do not have a technical background. We've taken these tutorials. They're very easy to follow, very easy to understand and learn how to build out projects pretty quickly and easily. Um, I can't say that I've, I've spoken to a customer that's taken longer than a week or two, really, to understand the tool and figure out how to build out narratives. Uh, and to help you out further than that, if you like what you saw today and you'd like to take a trial of ARIA, we do offer a non-commitment uh, trial to the tool, 30 days. And during that 30-day period, you have access to our pre-sales team we will create a sample project for you, sample mock-up at the beginning of the presentation or the beginning of the trial. And then we will hop on the call with you every week for four weeks for a 20 to 30 minute session, answer any questions you have, offer uh, best practices, fine tuning, because the idea would be at the end of that 30 days, we want to have a reasonable project ready to go that you can present to the business to show the value. And you can certainly open up a support ticket anytime you'd like on top of those sessions you have with us on a weekly basis to answer any questions you want at any time. Now, one other thing we didn't mention, which I think is key, is ARIA is the only NLG provider that can narrate the underlying data within your BI tool. And that is significant for two reasons. One of which is security. Obviously, having different licenses gives access to different data. That becomes a non-issue because of how we architect our tool. The second is the ability to create three-dimensional comprehensive narratives that give you all the ins and outs of the how, the why, and the what's next within your data. So that takes me to the end of the presentation. I showed you the extension for uh, Tableau and uh, navigate through the uh, studio tool. Uh, please stop by our booth, uh, say hello. I'd like to share any information with you we want at that you point. You want to show the video? Oh, I'm sorry, yes. <laughs> yes, Thanks, Tim. Uh, so we are in beta phase uh, <laughs> for um, answers with ARIA. Um, and that was powered through Alexa. So we have a little sample video for you today to just see how that will operate.
Can you hear the video? Can't. Okay. Where our tea guy is. Can you go see if he's back yes. there? Yes. They can't hear audio for the video. So while we're trying to figure out some of the technical issues, um, where Aria is headed is obviously we want to be able to query our data, right? And be able to layer certain queries on top of one another to really get more get robust right answers as to particular areas of your dashboards. And through answers with Aria, you're going to be able to start out maybe asking Alexa, how's my sales today, Alexa? And she's going to give you a nice answer as to maybe your sales are $25.1 million and your top products are X, Y, and Z. But you don't want to stop there, right? You want to find out what industry or what market is the top performing market within that sales region. And you okay. can layer upon layer different data points to really get a unique insight into what's happening within your dashboard. I'll give it another shot. All right. Let us nothing. No. <laughs> Could we use this mic with his audio, his laptop audio? Would that work? Good Sorry, folks. <laughs> So while we're waiting, anyone have any questions regarding NLG? Sorry. Yes, sir. When we have real, just hold it near there. I'm gonna walk towards you because I. Is it working? Yeah, you can. Okay. Yes, sir. Just wait for that question to answer. Real time data. Yeah, yeah, real time data. Do you have to publish like a like I have data coming in every five minutes? So the gentleman in the back here has asked, how does ARIA work with real-time data? Um, we are architected, again, on a REST API. So as the data changes within your dashboard, so too will the narrative. So if you have data that's changing every five minutes, the narrative will change in five minutes. No, if right. you have data that's changing on a daily, no, weekly no, basis, same concept. The key is the REST API, which allows you to create as much dynamic content as you'd like. Good. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. Let me start this over. Yes. So if you want to, so you can configure our tool Imagine to really future, interact and create different narratives here when you feel necessary. Oh, we got audio. All right. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Current as of that very minute on sales. Expenses, profits, products, and geographies. With Aria paired with Alexa for business, that future is now. The use of NLG technology with Alexa enables real, organic conversations, transitioning from the traditional command and response interaction to command and insight, keeping humanity at the heart of conversational AI. Alexa, open ARIA. Welcome to ARIA Conversations. Ask me about your data. Tell me about my sales. Your month to date sales were 5.37 million US dollars, which is a decrease of 1.9 million US dollars, or 26%, compared to the same period last year. This was mainly contributed by poorer sales of Camoid, 180,000 US dollars, and Neutrali. 1.57 million US dollars. However, this trend was partially offset by increased sales of Glower, 2.14 million US dollars, and Oitmo, 0.58 million US dollars. Why were sales down for Neutrali? Neutrali sales were down due to poorer sales in the segment brand store, 2.1 million US dollars. Why was Camoid down? Camoid sales were down due to poorer sales in segment online, 0.91 million US dollars. Compare profit, month on month. 
month to date profit was 0.69 million US dollars, down by 0.78 million, or 53%, compared to last month. This was driven by low profit of product Camoid, 51,000, and Retin, 232,000, and was offset by higher profit of Flower, 405,000, and Doinkmo, 50,000. How are my sales by country? The top three countries are close in terms of sales. The United States of America with 25.03 million is first, then Canada with 24.89 million and France at 24.35 million. How about by segment? For that, two segments stand out as lower than other segments. Channel Partners at 1.8 million US dollars, and Chemists with 2.38 million. How is my profit by segment in France? There are two segments that are worth mentioning in France. Departmental with 2.71 million US dollars and brand store at 0.73 million US dollars. Thanks, Alexa. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, sorry. No, that's all right. So that is in beta phase right now, but as you can see, there is a lot of power in terms of being able to communicate verbally with something like Alexa, Cortana, in order to really drive those actionable insights. I wanna thank everyone for coming out today, and if you're interested and have any other questions, please feel free to visit us at our booth, which is 231 on the other side of the convention center. Thank you. Thank you.